this movie star tours an $8 million five-bedroom condo in a luxurious residential area. How many of you have ever casually considered purchasing an $8 million condo? Yet, for Scarlett Johansson, it is just another day. Spending a million or 10 on multiple homes is a no-brainer, a fleeting thought to the world's highest paid actress. After all, in her 25 years in the movie-making business, Johansson has amassed an eye-watering net worth of $165 million. Today, her name is so huge, the studios are willing to pay her $17.5 million for a movie that is destined to flop. This exact thing happened to the controversial Ghost in the Shell. So today on Rumor Juice, we will look into how Scarlett Johansson earns her money and what she chooses to do with her huge fortune. You'd be surprised to learn that sometimes she stops herself from going on a spending spree. And sometimes she can be frugal too. Subscribe to Rumor Juice YouTube channel and let's start. Okay, let's go. Can you say you were sure of your future as a tiny kid? Scarlett Johansson can. Um, so I've been lucky, been very, very lucky. She probably couldn't have predicted that by 2020, her movies will have grossed close to $14.5 billion worldwide and $5.2 billion in North America. But Scarlett knew she would make it big as a performer since her early childhood. The little girl would often entertain her family with song and dance routines. When Scarlett was seven, a talent agent signed one of her brothers instead of her, but that didn't make her abandon her dream. Luckily, her parents were very supportive of her aspirations. I always had the chance to do whatever I wanted to do. My parents were very open about that. Acting has been a passion of mine. I wanted to be in musicals as a kid and took tap dance. So for me, it's a dream come true. My childhood was filled with things that I loved to do, the actress recalls. Unfortunately, it wasn't all fun and games. Johansson's parents separated when she was 13. Their marriage was already crumbling by the time Scarlett and her twin brother Hunter came along. In a 2017 interview, Scarlett detailed how traumatic her life sometimes got as she was growing up. We were living on welfare. We were on food stamps. My parents were raising four kids in a low-income household in Manhattan. So it was a lot, she said. Despite all these shortcomings, Scarlett was able to pursue her movie career. She was adamant about not delving into a commercial world. She just wasn't interested in, quote, promoting Wonder Bread. Um, lots of auditions. <laughs> The determined girl made her film debut at the age of nine. Johansson remembers how she immediately felt at home and knew intuitively what to do on the set of her first movie, the fantasy comedy North. The money that started flowing in caused a brief clash with Scarlett's mother, Melanie. For the longest time, Melanie worked as Scarlett's manager. Initially, their mother-daughter slash actress-manager relationship was great. Prior to their falling out, the actress expressed hope they wouldn't have that horrible experience of other families where parents managed their kids. They end up suing or being emancipated. The wonderful thing about my mom is that she completely respects my creative weirdness and supports any decision I make, Scarlett said. In 2009, however, her outlook changed. She felt the need to, quote, cut the cord. Left to her own devices, Melanie started experiencing financial troubles. For instance, she wasn't able to afford a $1.4 million Manhattan apartment that she had already signed a contract and paid the deposit for. After Scarlett already fired her, Melanie tried to find out if she'd be receiving any residual payments from her daughter's endorsement deals. Well, it seems that today, Scarlett's relationship with her mom has improved. Now we just have such a great relationship. And Scarlett's position in Hollywood has improved too. She was just 17 years old when she appeared in the 2003 movie, Lost in Translation. Her outstanding performance helped the movie make $119 million at the box office against its $4 million budget. It's interesting that the more films that you make that are successful, it seems, the more there's a certain pressure on you to keep making great films and to keep being, you know, you know fantastic in them. Um, that's a sort of scary thing. However, Johansson didn't become a household name prior to appearing as Black Widow in the famed Marvel superhero movies. She received a modest $400,000 for appearing in Iron Man 2 in 2010. For the next couple of Avengers-themed films, Scarlett continued to receive low single-digit millions. It took six Marvel appearances before she finally earned a rumored $20 million for the upcoming standalone Black Widow movie. 
the number is likely to balloon further if the film performs well at the box office. But did you know that Black Widow almost didn't happen in Scarlett Johansson's life? That's right, she wasn't the first choice to play the character. Emily Blunt was considered for the role in Iron Man 2. So when Scarlett received the you didn't get the part call, she got understandably disappointed. And then that was it, you know, life went on. I mean, I certainly had enough experience of rejection. The actress was looking for another movie deal when she received another call. Blunt wasn't available for the part. Thus, Johansson's Black Widow was born and Scarlett Johansson became one of the best paid and recognized actors in the world. Oracles converging, no, it was, it was, sorry, it was, it was <laughs> bogeys converging on the Oracle Pavilion. Lock and load, the fight's coming to you. <laughs> Even her worst reviewed movies perform successfully at the box office. The sci-fi action flick Lucy cost $40 million to make, and despite lackluster critical reviews, it earned over $463 million. Ghost in the Shell was surrounded by controversy even before its release, due to accusations of racism and whitewashing. Still, Scarlett Johansson's name helped the movie gross $169.8 million worldwide, against its $110 million budget. The actress took home $17.5 million as a salary. Also, as a public figure, Johansson is often hired by famous brands as an endorser. She has appeared in ad campaigns for Calvin Klein, reportedly earning a sweet $1 million per year, L'Oreal with a $3 million as annual salary, and worked with other high-profile fashion brands. No doubt she receives hefty cash bonuses for her involvement, but sometimes Johansson has her doubts. It's so shocking when you hear that Calvin Klein wants you for their new campaign. You're like, who, me? I guess you have to decide where you draw the line between you saying, this is fun, pretty, and fabulous, and being overexposed. Perhaps she feels safer from being overexposed in one of her luxurious houses. In 2014, Scarlett acquired a marvelous $2.2 million Hamptons mansion. The 3,500 square foot abode had fireplaces, outdoor decks, and a pool. No doubt, Scarlett enjoyed spending her last days of pregnancy there as she was pregnant with her daughter, Rose, at the time. Four years later, the actress scooped a gorgeous $4 million house in Rockland County, New York. The architect who designed the home also designed the Oval Office in the White House. The actress also owns a three-bedroom flat in Lisbon, Portugal's city of Seven Hills. According to local estate agents, the purchase couldn't have been made for less than 1.5 million euros. As an actress, Scarlett knows how important it is to look her best. Want some tips on how to look like Scarlett Johansson? Well, be ready to pay at least $400 for a haircut. That's how much her celebrity stylists use to charge. For your skincare routine, mix a $335 moisturizing soft cream with a few drops of $130 face oil. But don't despair yet. <sighs> Recently, Johansson made headlines for spending just $31 on beauty products that helped her look magnificent at this year's Golden Globes and she did glow at the red carpet event. Certainly, her fiance, Saturday Night Live co-head writer, Colin Jost, was right by her side too, which only enhanced Scarlett's glow. Um, he's such a cute guy. He is a cute guy, I mean, I'm partial, you know. Yeah. Now we're engaged, so I, I have, I'm going really down that path now. Yeah. Right. <laughs> or maybe those were the sparks from the engagement ring he gave her. You know, the $450,000 11 karat diamond ring. Because when you are with Scarlett Johansson, all you can do is ensure that she only owns the best stuff in the world. If you think that all that money changed Scarlett's personality, think again. Yes, she can easily afford owning a private jet, but we still have an opportunity to catch a glimpse of the actress on a commercial flight. And just like everyone else, Johansson is prone to finding herself in extremely embarrassing situations while on board. As she revealed on Jimmy Kimmel Live, she had once unintentionally exposed herself to a random passenger in the plane's bathroom. I guess I didn't lock the door. I thought I did. I went to grab the toilet paper and my private parts were splayed out. The guy opens the door, he looks down, and he's like, uh-oh, oh. I was like, close the goddamn door. Walking back to her seat while the entire cabin of people watched was equally as embarrassing. Uh, before the plane took off, and then I had to open the door and walk past the entire like cabin of people that all just heard me be like, ah, you know. It's good to see the glitz and glamour of Hollywood life didn't make Scarlett lose her sense of self-irony. Scarlett Johansson is living everyone's dream life. She gets paid for doing what she loves, 
but her impressive fortune didn't appear magically overnight. I worked really hard for a really long time, so maybe this is the result of that," the actress says. When Vanity Fair asked her how it feels to be constantly referred to as the world's highest paid actress, Scarlett remarked that the title sounded pretty unbelievable to her, and yet she admitted that her status is a great thing and a big luxury too. It affords me the ability to not feel like I have to work all the time, not to take a job just because I need to support myself, which basically every single person in almost every industry has to do. And Johansson knows firsthand what it feels like to take up a job just because it pays the bills. And which Scarlett Johansson movie is your favorite? So, wish me luck. <laughs>